You sound very gorgeous. I ain't gonna lie. It's the baby voice. Okay, that's yeah, what it is. I think that's what it is. But they're like, I don't want you to be nervous. You say you ain't nervous. Who scared. nervous? I just told you I'm never nervous. Okay, but come on. Come on, not already. My heart just feels so black, but my eyes be seeing red. I swear I need you not because it get really lonely in my bed. That's all you getting. In that's my, the little hook. In my bed. Okay. Okay. All right. All right, one, two, three. They said I would never be shit. They said I would never be this. They said a nigga fell way out. They said a nigga way too raw. They said it. They said it. They said it. They said it. I'm a legend. Sailor, baby. I like to give you a huge shout out to Dorn Sil. Oh, wait. That's me. <laughs> Make sure y'all subscribe to the channel, bro. Y'all don't know the deal, you hear me? Let's get it. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Doran Silver, man. I'm back at it again with another video, man. Today, as you can see, I got two people right here, man, that I'm putting on a blind date, man. So, look, first question I'm gonna ask y'all to do is introduce yourselves, man. So, ladies first. I'm Lexi. For sure. How you done, Lexi? I'm shy. So, all right, all right. So, how y'all how y'all feeling about this blind date right now? Um, we'll see how it goes. He takes the lead, you know. It is what it is. Me? I ain't never nervous, so it's good. So, bro, you can go ahead and ask us some questions, bro, what you want to know about and stuff like that. All right. First of all, I want to ask you, you know what I'm saying, what you do, like, what you what you be doing, you know what I'm saying, where you from? I'm from here. I'm from New Orleans. Mm -hmm. Um, And I do surgery. You do surgery? Surgery on what? Surgical tech. I'm going to let you know. You got to explain that to me. Okay, so basically, you know how the surgeons walk into the operating room? And I'm the person who sets up the room for them. Like, I help them throughout the surgery. So I pass them instruments. I help them close, stuff like that. Okay, thanks. You sound very gorgeous. I ain't going to lie. It's the baby voice. Okay, that's yeah, all I think that's what it is. Uh-huh. Yeah. You got any questions for me? Um, what do you do? All right, so right now... I make music, I'm an artist, I do different things, I do content, I do... Okay, so when you say you're an artist, like mm -hmm. you make music, like mm -hmm. what, what genre? Any genre you ask me to make. Alright, so rap me something right now. <laughs> come on, come on. Oh, I just come play. on. Oh, I just play. Uh, come on. Alright. But you want to hear some sub buttons? No, uh-uh, uh-uh. See, see, you're an artist, so I want you to be uh, on the top. Look, look, look. Come on. I can't do that. Come on. I can't All right, do that. I gotta hear something. To I can't, sing I can't to do me. that. Sing to me. All right, look. Sing to I'm, me. I'm gonna sing you my favorite one. A sweet little dee 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 I'm trying to help you. All right, look. You have to clear your throat. I don't want you to be nervous. You say you ain't nervous. Who scared. nervous? I just told you I'm never nervous. Okay, well, come on. Come on, not all right. So I, I, I got my, you know. I can't let you go. I can't let you out my head. I can't sleep when you be gone, so I take these drugs instead. My heart just feels so black, but my eyes be seeing red. I swear I need you not, because it get really lonely in my bed. That's all you getting. In That's my, the little hook. In my bed. Okay. Get, I swear I need you not because it get really lonely in my bed. Yeah, I call your phone a thousand times, you never call me back. Yeah, because I don't want to answer. Huh? <laughs> Sorry. Excuse me? Go ahead. Pardon me? Go ahead. Go ahead. That was good. That was good. Woo! Yeah. So, what'd you rate his, uh, his singing in the song? Um, it was a six out of ten. Mm -hmm. Six out of ten. Mm -hmm. I'll play it for you later. Yeah, it was a 6 out of 10, but it would have been better if I would have got, like, a little rap in the twine, too, so I could just understand the feel. But I'm like, going okay, right on, now. Okay, hold on, look. All right, look. All right, look. All right, so look. What you, what you look for in a man? In a man. In a man. Yeah. Um, great question. Um... Oh, somebody who's, like, family-orientated. Um... Hood and, and book smart. Like, you know, you know how to maneuver through certain situations. Um, a provider, somebody who wants to have a family. And, you know, if you know how to communicate, that's all that matters because we can figure out everything else from there. I'm a great communicator. All right, bro. So what you look for in a woman? 
I write for a woman. Honestly, all I ask for, loyalty, respect, and a love that I've been looking for, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, I don't, I don't do the, the down plan or like, like just 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 ride with me, like you know what I'm saying. Like if I'm down, then like just beat up for me, you know. If when I need you, type shit, cause you know men go through things, mm -hmm. you know what I mean. And it's it's a lot of times, but it's like no, you feel like nobody there for you mm -hmm. as a man. And sometimes we just gotta deal with that. Mm -hmm. So that's that's all I ask for: loyalty, honesty, and respect. So are you like? okay with being in your vulnerable state because you know like growing up out here in new orleans it's like a lot of guys feel like i have to be that strong person all the time like i cannot show weakness and stuff like that and so it so when you need help like are you okay to be like i need help this is what i need i mean it take a lot for me to get to that spot like to that point it do it like I'm one of them strong-minded people. I feel like I, I gotta do everything by myself. I could do everything by myself, mm -hmm. but then it's sometimes when I, I reach rock bottom every time, and I still like I, I try to find my best way to to get out of it. Mm -hmm. And it's like I don't run to too many people like when I do need that help. So it's like I, you gotta really be a special person to me for me to actually like go out my way to ask you, you know, for your help or for your guidance. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Mm -hmm. Alright, so how y'all feeling about the vibe right now? It's chill. It's chill. I'm liking what I'm hearing. Like I said, I like the voice. I'm liking what I'm hearing. She she know how to talk, you know what I'm saying? I don't really yeah, be expressing too much. For sure, for sure. There any more questions that y'all wanna ask each other? I mean Or y'all ready to y'all ready to see each other? What y'all feel? Might as well. Might as well. Yeah. Alright, you look right, bro. Mm -hmm. You look left. Mm -hmm. All right, so y'all gonna take y'all blindfolds off, and on three, y'all gonna look at each other. All right. Okay. All right then. Yeah, start taking it off. All right. All right. One, two, three. What's up? How you doing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you pretty. You pretty. I like your hair. Like the curves. You look like you always put yourself together or something. Like. Thanks. You just, that's how you judge every day? That's how you look every day? Yeah. Or you like to go outside with bonnets on and shit? No, I do that too. You know, you gotta switch it up. Okay, I like that too though. I have a different personality for everything. Yeah. Yeah, I appreciate that. I don't know. I'm thankful for being honest. Mm hmm. Alright, what would you rate him on, like, I guess, like, features? Like, what you see? Like, what would you rate him? Like, on a scale of 1 through 10. Like, rate his fit. Don't read my face. <laughs> <laughs> you look comfortable. You look comfortable. too. Thanks. Okay. That's exactly that's, what I was that's going all, for. That's all that matters. You look comfortable. That's what I was going for. I appreciate you. Um. Okay. So, like, I'm all about personality. Mm -hmm. So, 8 out of 10. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And you're very vocal. I like that. Appreciate that. Same with you. Let me see. You fit? I uh, don't know. You could have came out looking better than that. Aw, thanks. Hold on. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Anything I'm else? Just playing. You fit? I like it. It's, it's it's pretty, you know what I'm saying? You look like you was coming outside like on a picnic or something. Like nigga might want to take you out on a date after this or something. But like, you know what I'm saying? I see I give you really like a seven with the with the fit, you hear me? And then your personality, you real good. And then I like how you like what you said about like what you do mm -hmm. and your like your your personality, like what you was telling me. I like that. I mean, was, uh, that's kind of what I look for in a woman, like what you were telling me about yourself. Okay. And I appreciate that. What would you rate her smile, bro? Her smile? My like, smile. She got a very beautiful smile. Like, she smiled big, bro. So, I, like, you can't get a none under an eight, and I give it a nine. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So, what would you rate him, like, facial wise? Don't step too hard, fucking man. <laughs> um, fresh cut, I like it. You almost knocked the dust off my shit, though. Well, like something did dust off. Mm -hmm. I helped you. Thank you. Yeah, okay. You bubbled up the pot up and then, uh... And then, too, it looked like you you grow like a Rick Ross. Can you? If I wanted to, I'd be cutting it off, dude. I ain't gonna lie. So, women like pleasers. So, I think you should add it back. Oh, most of. If you okay. asking me too, yeah, that's okay. fine. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Yeah, I'm, uh, okay. I'm definitely up. Yeah. Okay. 
Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, you look like you got your head done with recently. Like, you got your head done, or you just did that this morning? I did this this morning. Okay. And you do it's look like you do have you do have, or you just do your shit. I do mine. Yeah. Okay. I like how you put. Because a lot of people don't know how to do my texture hair, so. I could do it. Excuse me. I could do it. Okay. I'm good at this shit. I ain't gonna lie. Okay. I do my little sister. Come on. Come Tell on. You. Here, take a strand and plait it. That's, Come on. That's gonna be something. Come nice. on. <laughs> See, then you can't do it. Can't do it. Cause, you, cause most people like. Why are you trying to catch me in a lie? I'm just not moving my hands right now. You're not catching me in this lie. I'm gonna right. keep going to yeah. All right. I could do your hair. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're gonna stick to the basics then. You can only. Oh yeah. You go. I can put your shit in a ponytail. Oh no. <laughs> Mm -mm. You can blow dry it. I do all that. Blow no. dry it. Anything with physical heat? <laughs> no. Anything with a comb smack? No. Alright. Okay, great. So I'm growing my hair. Are you gonna do my hair? When I when I when it when it when it's back to how it used to be? Well, what the what the hell does that mean? No, you're gonna do my hair. Well, I don't know what back to what it used to be mean. Buku hair. Buku as in like five more inches or like, buku as in like, like in Yeah, yeah high type shit. Like it was a light and it was nappy. <laughs> so you wanna do your head and you wanna do nigga naps? So you grow a kitchen too? Huh? Grow a kitchen? Yeah. Oh, what that is? Uh, June bugs in the back end. Oh no, we 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 we. Okay. Yeah, we, we make sure them them combed out. I'll anoint you first with the nigga naps, and then I might try to touch you. Okay, that's understood. Everybody, I get told that all the time, so it don't matter. Mhm. Mm mm -hmm. Okay, Mr. Doctor. So how y'all feeling right now about y'all conversation? It's very chill. It's very, it's you know. Casual, natural. I feel like it ain't too much, it ain't too so, little. So, what would be your ideal date, like on a first date type thing? Oh, you asking me or him? Yeah, you. Oh, me. Okay. Mm. Um, my ideal date would be something chill. Something. I know I use chill a lot because, like, I'm not like dramatic or anything. But like, you see like how we're at the lake or whatever? Something like this. For sure. First. <clears throat> like it ain't gotta be nothing like over the top. For sure. What about you, bro? What would you take her on the first date? Uh, I'm also one of them chill people. I don't like being in the weed, you know what I'm saying? Like, especially on first dates, I don't like really being around crowds. Like, if, we, if I'm gonna take you on your first date, that's me getting to know you more. Mm -hmm. So it's like, I'm not really trying to, like I'm not gonna take you out to know. I, Honestly, like, I, don't, I see, I'm not doing no restaurants for real. Like, yeah, we could do a restaurant, but like, I really want to be somewhere like, like she said, chill. Like, we could go to LA, we could do a little picnic, you know what I'm saying? Go to, we could even go to, on some stuff, go to like, arcades or something like that, you know? And like, cause that's some fun. Like, we could have fun while getting to know each other and stuff like that, you know, mm -hmm. a little bowl and do the date, whatever. Or we could really just chill at the bar, like, chill at a bar or something. Mm -hmm. like, you know what I'm saying? It's just, Somewhere just one on one, you know what I'm saying, and we could we could talk with our stuff in our face. Yeah, I agree. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cause then I ain't gonna lie, I be feeling like a fat ass if I'm, I'm eating while trying to talk. I might spit in her plate. <laughs> Not the spit on her. That's so random. <laughs> <laughs> sit on her plate. <laughs> uh, that was funny. What's up in there, like? like turn y'all on like you like 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 do you like physical touch you know stuff like that what you want me to go first yeah you go first for bro. all right so me turn on for me is is everything like, i ain't gonna lie a person that i really like i'm into is kind of everything for me like you know what i'm saying like me being in your presence i ain't gonna lie that's that's that might be a little turn on right there but like a girl like smile like and seeing her like happy like i love seeing a female happy like that's what made me happy i ain't gonna lie mm -hmm. so like a female that's like smiling always happy that's one thing that turned me on and i am also a physical like like you know what i'm saying like if you 
If you show me that you, you know, you got love and affection for me, then it make me feel happy, you know what I'm saying? So, and it's like, you my person, I, I wanna feel like I'm your person. Mm -hmm. So like, that, all that's turn on to that. me. All that's turn on to me. I can agree. So the same go for you? Mm-hmm. Cause he was hitting like some key points, so yeah. Okay. Right. So like, what y'all like, so what's y'all like, y'all goals in life? Like in general, like in life. This is this a me first question again? Mm -hmm. yeah, All right, cool. So, me, I ain't gonna lie. The point, is, point of life I'm in right now, I'm, I'm not sure what the exact route is. Mm -hmm. But my absolute goal is to make sure me and my people straight. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm pretty sure that's for everybody. Yeah. But like, like in my mindset right now, I feel like I'm gonna, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna have to go like over the top with it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's gonna, it's gonna, I'm, I wanna be, I'm a protector mm -hmm. as a fan, like a family man and a protector. So, by us being like in a city, bro, I don't want my people dying. Mm -hmm. Like, so I'm doing, I'm trying to do whatever it takes to make sure my people get from down here. My mama, like, you know, it's, it's buku stuff. I ain't gotta explain too much, but you know, my mama trying to help my mom out and shit like that. It's like, you know what I'm saying? I, that's why stuff be hard. And like, like I said earlier, as a man, we all like be hitting rock bottom mm -hmm. and it be like hurting us. Cause it's like, damn, I was doing, like I was doing good for myself. You know, something happened, woo -doo -woo -doo. you gotta like, we, I gotta figure out a way on my own mm -hmm. to, to help my people and help myself at the same time. So it's like, really, it's, it's really about me. It's about my, my family. My goal is to get my family out and become a very successful young man. Mm -hmm. And I'm trying to do that before I hit 24. And I'm 22, about to turn 23, so. That was really good. Thank you. That was good. So what about you? It just made me like forget my whole train of thought. Mm. Oh my goodness. Speechless. Speechless. Uh-oh. <laughs> um, okay, so. Initially, okay, so I moved from out of here a lot, meaning Same. like straight state to state. Same. And then I came back just to find myself, to figure out like who I am, what it is that I want. Because moving back out here, I didn't know what I wanted. I didn't know like where I was going, what direction. I just knew I was not going to lay in the bed depressed and literally living under somebody's roof and they the ones giving me money versus figuring out how to do the shit myself. Mm -hmm. So, and then too, like being in New Orleans, people are like so complacent to everything. So it's like, oh yeah, I could just go down the street and get some weed and then go home and do the same routine 24 seven. But when you go to Houston, when you go to Atlanta and stuff like that, you get a whole different mindset of what life really is mm -hmm. or whatever. So my goal is to learn as much as I can here, grow as much as I can here, and then venture out and do real estate, do something that, you know, not only helps me, but the future of me, like the future kids and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So. I had to know that I just, I did. I am that type of person that like to venture out. Like I moved out of state three times. Mm -hmm. And starting from my sophomore year of high school, I was, like I went to Texas, came back, went to Colorado, came back. Like, I just, I kind of been almost everywhere. I ain't even gonna lie. But it's just, I just be wanting to explore my options. Like, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, I already know, I've been having this mindset since I was young that New Orleans is not the place to really want to stay. Like, mm -hmm. you know, some stuff, like, it's a good place to visit. It's, don't get me wrong, like, New Orleans is a wonderful place. Well, that's to visit. the problem. A lot of people that come here only know it as a good place to visit mm -hmm. for festivities. But mm -hmm. living here, a lot of, I'm not even go down the road but a lot of people that come out of here they use it as a real estate place but then still have houses and stuff like that mm -hmm. outside not even just, no matter of fact fuck that new orleans itself the people who come out here they'll go outskirts and be like in baton rouge and coveton and stuff like that something that's not like i don't say hood but you know underdeveloped 
is the better term. Facts. That's, that's exactly what it's called. What is what is it called? Gen gentrify? That's not that word. What? You could use it. You could use it. You could use it. Hold on. <laughs> nope. Mm -mm. Nah, don't try to don't try to wait. No. That's it's right. You could okay. Use that all right. Word. I was just wondering, and I, I'm the last. I told y'all. It's, it's a good point. Facts. I don't like it. It's okay. I wasn't trying to obliterate. All right. Yeah. All right. What's some uh some red flags in the guy? Red flags. Yeah. Oh, like I said, lack of communication. Don't leave me on my fucking red. I will punch you in your damn face. <laughs> if I'm texting you trying to check on your black ass, you better motherfucking answer. <clears throat> Alright bro, what's some red flags on the woman? Red flags? If I'm texting your black ass, <laughs> you better text me a fuck back. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> But no, like that that nah that for real, yeah. But like like I was saying earlier about the, the what is the turn ons or whatever not what are we talking about? Something. Like my the turn ons lack of respect. Like mm -hmm. an honesty, mm -hmm. like I'm not like all that, all that that sneaky stuff doing behind my back. Like I've been, like okay, I've been. So this is a double sided two way street. Okay, I get it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah, we think about the same thing. I mean, mm -hmm. I feel like every that's a thing that everybody think of. It's just it's the matter of like how much you like Actually, enforce that. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And like I'm big on it. I'm big on like. I'm not even saying this as in regards to me, me and you or me and a girl. Me, mm -hmm. and, I'm saying this to me and my mama, me mm -hmm. and family, me mm -hmm. and my brothers, my partners, anybody. It's like you gotta, you gotta respect me, like, cause mm -hmm. I'ma respect you until you disrespect me. Mm -hmm. So it's like that's definitely a red flag, cause it's like once you show me that you can't really like, you can't have, you, I can't trust you and respect you. Then honestly, I'm, I ain't gonna lie, I get disrespectful. Mm -hmm. So it's like, I don't know what that is. I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you, but like, I don't care. Like, I'm a person that I'm not gonna say I don't care. I'm, I am actually pretty nonchalant, mm -hmm. but like, I'm gonna show you I care. I'm definitely gonna show you I care, but at the same time, I'm not gonna do too much to show you I care. So it's like, it's either you, like, me, I think, like, it's either you think I care, you think I don't. Mm -hmm. it, it is what it is. I'm gonna, like I said, I respect you. I'm gonna be honest with you. If you think I'm lying, if you think anything, oh well. Mm -hmm. Like you know what I'm saying. So it, some people, some people don't like that about me, but it's something I can't change because of the way I grew up and things that I've been through. You know what I'm saying. So it's like I, like I'm, I'm the type of person I kind of do hide myself, mm -hmm. but I can like be an outgoing person at times too. Like back then, I was a very, a very outspoken person, and now I just like I, I had to get in my shell and stuff like that because the things that happen and stuff like that, you know, growing up, household mm -hmm. problems and stuff like that, and just realizing stuff as you growing up, it's just everything hit at the same time. Mm -hmm. So that's, that, that's how I am. Yeah. You say you want to know the birthdays? Mm -hmm. All right, my birthday, September 10th, and it just passed. Oh, happy belated birthday. Thank you, thank you. Woo! Woo! September 10th? What you mean, what is that? Yes, sir. Oh, a Virgo, I'm a Virgo. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like Virgos is the best signs. I'm not even gonna lie. <laughs> I, I could I could I could argue about it, but I don't argue about it. But mm -hmm. like personally, for me, I feel like we the best signs. I'm and I'm just only speaking on me as a person though. So it's like I don't know about I don't even care about nobody else. I don't care about no other Virgos. I ain't gonna lie, I could speak for myself only to say that I'm a I'm a real genuine nigga. But like and I'm like by me saying I'm real, I could be really disrespectful. I could be mm -hmm. really nice. Mm -hmm. I could be a real asshole. Like, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? But I'm gonna be real about it. Mm -hmm. So it is what it is. That's how that's how I see it. Well, my birthday is February seventeenth. Pisces. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. no. Alright, you can continue. My birthday is February 17, 1926. Um, I am an Aquarius. And think about it. Go ahead. Think mm -hmm. about what I just said. You're an Aquarius? Mm -hmm. Oh, he didn't even catch it. 
<laughs> yes, I'm Aquarius, not a Pisces. What you think about that? That was a deep thought just now. No, you, you continue. Oh. <laughs> I said I was born February 17, 1926. <laughs> so that, okay. 1926. Mm -hmm. Cool. Uh, damn. <laughs> and you ain't find a nigga yet? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I traveled down the fountain of youth like 25,000 times already. So it's like we're back on a new cycle of trying okay. to find somebody else. So really you got down there 100 years old. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. Oh my. So how y'all, um, so, all right. So y'all liking the vibe, right? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So would y'all go on another date after this? For sure. For sure. For sure. If it involved like coke or something, yeah. What do you think about that though? I'm not a hookah person. Okay, well. You, we, I would definitely take you to wherever you want to go. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a ladies man. I would take you to wherever you want to go. Personally, I'm not a hookah person. I don't, I don't do the, the hookah. I'm just like, I was given a scenario. I wasn't literally thinking of who could play. But I love the answer. I really do. That was, I, I love that. Thanks. Mm -hmm. For sure. So, how many likes this video and views this video need to get for y'all to go on another, another little date? 20. Okay. Oh, I'm about to say, huh? 20, 20k. She said 20, 20k views or 20k likes? Uh, 20k likes. Yeah. That's not, that Loki sound like you kind of like saying you ain't trying to, you trying to make it a challenge. <laughs> yeah, I do want to make this a challenge. The f oh, what'd you say, bro? So, honestly. See, personally, I would have said it, it, it could take 10 likes and I'm going on that date. But, you okay. know what I'm saying? That's just me. Okay. You know what I mean? But I guess, I guess we, I'm going to say, I'm going to say 15K, 15K likes. Okay. And, and, and we're going to do this again. Okay. So y'all heard it, man. So look, y'all comment down below what y'all think. If they should go on another little date with each other, let me know down in the comment section down below. Make sure y'all hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, drop a comment down below, man. And uh, if y'all want, y'all can shout out your Instagram, whatever y'all want to shout out, you know. Yeah, that good stuff, whatever y'all got, you know. Okay, you ain't got that. All right, follow me on Instagram at kvd.shy, kvd.shy. For sure, for sure. You got anything? <laughs>